Well, tributes are pouring in tonight in memory of a local businessman who spent his entire life's work in community service, giving both his time and a lot of his money. Community leader and philanthropist Bill Mays passed away last night on his 69th birthday. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Chapman shows us how his legacy will live on. Outside Mays Chemical Headquarters, the symbol of strength and unity lowered to honor the life of Bill Mays, a man who built an economic dream and allowed his good fortune to help others. Thursday, Bill Mays passed away. His loss unexpected and heartfelt. Tony Mason, president of the Urban League, calls Mays a mentor. That's an incredibly powerful legacy for a man that I think we all know and love, not only for the leader that he was, but just as the friend in person that he was. Mays's story started here in 1980, where he launched Mays Chemical, distributing materials for auto and pharmaceutical manufacturers. Today, it's one of the 15 largest chemical distribution companies in North America. His influence goes so far beyond that. Mays began branching out in 1990. He bought and revived the historic Indianapolis Recorder newspaper, took on the role as chairman of the United Way of Central Indiana and at the Indianapolis Chamber of Commerce. Michael Huber is the president at the Indy Chamber. He was very generous in giving of his time to others. Out front, leading the way in business, behind the scenes, taking a stand for those who could not be heard. Making sure that the, uh, the, the African American community had a very strong voice, not just in business, but just uh, a, lot of, a lot of the issues uh, that the African American community really cares about became much more mainstream because of his uh, media presence and because of all of his relationships. In a statement, his daughter, Heather Mays Wood, offered yet another glimpse of Mays, saying, Dad was a wonderful man who positively impacted so many people's lives. To the community, he was an astute businessman, but to us, he was a loving father and husband. Now, dozens of tributes to Bill Mays have been posted at WTHR.com, including one from Mayor Ballard, who called Mays a titan of industry and philanthropy. Funeral arrangements are pending. Mays is survived by his wife, Rose, and two adult daughters, and his niece, former state representative, Caroline Mays.